5G is the future communication standard and 5G stands for the fifth generation um, of communication systems. So there were generations before 5G like 2G, 3G and 4G. And these generations are focused on voice and um, content delivery only. What we would like to achieve is to also to include control messages into 5G. Nowadays we have 7 billion devices and we are going to 500 billion devices that are not mobile phones only, that are also wireless sensors. And in order to control them, we are introducing the concept of the tactile internet, which means a massive reduction of the delay towards these sensor nodes. And it's not only a matter of the wireless link, we would like to change the network architecture dramatically. We are moving away from point to point. Nowadays we have a static single cloud, but in the future what we will see is um, multiple clouds, distributed clouds that are moving around the user wherever he goes. In 5G we foresee um, many use cases. Um, one of them is, for example, the driverless car scenario, where cars will drive on our streets without drivers, without even street lights, and um, just by the control of the network. Cars will also drive autonomously, having a, something like a security bubble around them, understanding the five meters in front of them, but the network will control them also with a long scale, like 100 meters ahead and something like this. So the, we will increase the security by that and we will also enable new use cases and also transform the traffic, for example, from transportation that doesn't have to be in the middle of the day. You can shift it to the nights with that. Another example is um, e-health, where a doctor can operate on a patient that is not even in the same hospital, but he can be 100 kilometers away, but he can see in a virtual world the patient and operate on, on him. Other examples are for the industry, where you have robots in, in a a um, huge company or also if you think about smart grids where nowadays we don't have only 10 nuclear power plants in a country we have distributed um, energy generations and we have to control them and to make sure that nobody else is controlling them just um, us doing that in a secure manner. Every generation has its own challenges um, in 5G there are manifold. Throughput was one of them that we had in prior generation and it will be also in 5G. We expect that there will be a 1000 fold increase in capacity. So we have to do that, but we know how to do that from the prior generations. The most dramatic and disruptive um, challenge is the massive reduction of delay to form the tactile internet. And we would like to go down there to one millisecond and that is the huge challenge. Other challenges are the energy consumption of 500 billion devices. How can we do that? One solution is there the architecture itself, but also the devices has to change. And the security and resilience is something that we have to look at very carefully because controlling devices make them also a target for hackers. And we have to make sure that this does not happen. The current state in 5G development is focusing solely on standardization activities, bringing researchers and industry together to discuss possible solutions. We have understood the use cases nowadays and the challenges, and now it's about finding solutions and finding standards for that. 5G, even more than other generations, will have a very disruptive impact on the markets. 5G, as it comes with the control, will create new markets, but also will have impact on existing market, as for example, for the cars. At the 5G lab Germany in Dresden, there are 20 professors with over 500 researchers that are now coming together to discuss the 5G in a very holistic manner, which means we would like to understand everything from the basic silicon design antenna design to the wireless part to the network design but also the discussed distributed agile cloud solutions and the 5G use cases. This all together will happen in Dresden and we invite everybody from the industry to join us there.